So, you see this? Let me explain to you how I cracked my Moto G7 power by doing something pretty stupid again. So we're just gonna make this semi a quick story, but you know, you know how it goes. It might be quick, it might not be. So I end up cracking my Moto G7 power, as you can see here. I wanted to rock this phone without a case because it looks good. This marine blue color is actually really nice looking when it doesn't have any type of fingerprints on it. It looked good. So I didn't have a case on it. I didn't have a tempered glass screen protector on it. Something that I always do when it comes to buying new phones because you can never be too sure. And guess what? Ended up dropping this bad boy here and shattered the entire front screen. So let me explain to you how it happened. I'm getting out of my car and I'm at work. And so at my, at my job, you have a secured door and basically you, you gotta have the key bags to get inside. Now, for months now, this door has been giving all the employees issues. And so when it comes to, you know, just basically getting inside the door, it's never that simple anymore. You have to scan your badge. And on top of scanning the badge, you have to jiggle the handle Additionally, so it's just not a simple beep, open the door, pull it open, you're in. It's not that simple anymore because of the door's issues. And so what ends up happening is that you have to scan your badge multiple times just to get into the door and it gets pretty annoying. So in this one particular case here, what happened, I had one hand with the Arby's cup that I just got from Arby's, it was a lemonade. So I wasn't gonna put that down. I had my Moto G7 in my left hand and I'm usually able to maneuver around things with my fingers as far as like grabbing my badge and scanning it. It's not really that hard of a task. I ended up dropping the phone out of my hand and being that the Moto G7 is a very big, heavy phone, it fell face first. And so in turn, what happened, absolutely terrible scene. I was very, very upset, but I knew in the back of my head that I had insurance, so I was definitely covered. So I wasn't like, like upset to the point where there's no return. I was upset that day and I got a rock of phone that has a cracked screen and that's not a good feeling. That pretty much is going to be it for the Moto G7. I already got the replacement device in hand here. I just wanted to make this video here before I send it back. I even cut my hand a couple of times just uh, maneuvering around it because, you know, it breaks into a million different pieces and some pieces you don't see until they get stuck into your palm. So be careful. Huh? If you guys have any type of questions on how to not break your Moto G7 power and what you should properly do to protect it, let me know in the comment section below because I might not be able to answer that question. So be sure to let your friends and family know that not all Android cameras suck. It is just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces.